This is your boy Roddy Perry King himself, and you just tuned into the Soulfully Conscious Podcast for Humans, Simply Being Humans. And shout out to everybody that contributed to the survey that I sent out, the listener feedback survey. That survey was continuously be on to my Linktree link that you will find on my Simply King Pod Instagram page. So that's for you know public consumption for people to kind of add any type of extra feedback. If the review slot was just not enough for you, if the rating was just not, you have more to say, more to input, go ahead and go to that, you know, or just send me an email, shoot me a DM, letting me know what you think or what you want to, you know, kind of come back with after listening to the show. But thank you, everybody, for listening to the Cucumber and Bluebell episode. Thought I was a week late on uh, on putting that out. Evidently, I wasn't because niggas are still nasty as hell out here, putting their damn tongue, finger, toe all types of things in this public ass ice cream in the damn grocery store. We have multiple people coming out, getting this type of weird ass attention on the news, getting interviews from doing this bullshit. And it's still kind of up in the air about the first girl who kind of started it in Texas, who was like, I guess she's like a minor and someone like that. And it's like a debate on the internet right now. It's like, is 20 years too much? Should she just get the minimum or whatever it is? The shit's gross. The shit's nasty, but I implore everybody to check that out. It's a great, great episode. Um, and especially with the new format that, you know, I introduced that you would also see on this episode. But let's jump right into the praise. This week, before I jump into the praise, let me first bring on a beautiful, beautiful individual who will be joining me in this conversation to talk about something that's just heating up the damn summer. That's just the hottest topic out here about one of the most hottest individuals who will be a part of my praise shout outs. I introduce a great person, a person who's been on the show before. And it certainly coincides even further into the conversation we had then on the rules we create. It's the name of the episode. Make sure you check that out everywhere. I have back with me, Taylor Crenshaw. Clap, 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 clap. clap, clap. How you doing, girl? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I just... Go ahead. No, I'm saying I'm excited about this episode. I'm excited too. And the thing that is tripping me out, the thing that's really tripping me out... Talk to me. Talk to me. Is like... I feel like, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like Megan Thee Stallion coming in to the industry when she came in was just the perfect time, in my opinion. Because it's like, there, there was like a definitely an emerging energy of like more women in rap. But I do believe that there is this weird kind of sense or notion that, you know, she has to, I don't know, kind of be from New York or something. You know what I'm saying? I really, I feel like that's always kind of been a thing. Mm -hmm. And I really truly believe she's like one of the first individuals who's like, outside of New York that's really getting this look that's like a true, true look into like, damn, she really might be like the one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she not from none of these places. Her influences ain't got shit to do with none of y'all favorite old ass rappers. No shade to them, but it's literally, like she talking about her influences are like Pimp C and fucking, you know, fucking Lil Chad and, and Gangsta Boo and 3-6 Mafia. Like, that shit warms my heart up. And I hear it in the way she rap. Man, that Southern flavor. I love it. It's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And then what she talking about is, like, it's a different it's a different level of aggression. It's like, you definitely can tell where her influences were coming from and how she, like, coming at it hard. But also, you look at the person that she is, it's, it's worth the praise. It's all I'm saying. It's worth the damn praise. So I praise young Megan Thee Stallion from Houston, Texas this week on the Simply King podcast because she deserves it. 
She deserves all the praise right now. Not only is she out here bringing back bars, bringing back body, she bringing back the South and some Southernness all up in your damn speakers. You know what I'm saying? Period. She giving you, she giving you the educated Bay vibes. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? At HBCU too. At a HBCU too. She and she went to um PV before she, she went, went to PV and then now, yep. Yeah, and so she was. <laughs> She trying to get it done. And even okay. after blowing up, she like, I'm still about to get the shits because I'm going to need it to do what else I'm going to do with my shits. You feel me? Because she trying to do like these like assistant living homes. Like she That's cold. Nice. She cold. And like, I love it. I love all of it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people need to understand that she is the epitome of what a hot girl Ooh, is. You know what I'm saying? So. That's cool. That's it. That's their praise because y'all can listen to the music. Fever is great. You know what I'm saying? Tina Snow is great. It's it's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Get into it. Get about it. And she just got bars for days. Anybody that can just rap forever and just really want to just rap about whatever and everything. And I truly believe, Taylor, that she is setting us up for just so much. <laughs> I really believe that. Greatness. I don't even think it's going to stop at a hot girl summer. I think it's going to be, you know, year round. I really think so. And I think she really, because the fact that she like is like giving us a like a damn near album quality project, letting it be known that this is a mixtape, but also giving us little pieces of like, I got more to say. I got certain things I want to, you know, in, you know, implement into an album. And she got fucking Q-Tip as a damn you know what I'm saying, mentor who's going to be a part of the, the, a part of the album, it's making me feel like, oh, sis is like, she really she luring, she luring folks in, giving you only a hat, like a layer of her, but she going to give you more layers as you know, as the years go by. And I fuck with the setup. I fuck with it. I see what you're doing, Meg. I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to and you. And she's not changing too. I think she, that's what I love about her. She's she not, not changing who she is. She's not. And I think it took somebody outside of this whole like framework of like the New York, you know, because if you think about it, damn near every hot New York rap, you know, rap star who just ha so happens to be female are like beefed up, uh, kind of like not on the same wave, and they kind of pick teams. Like exactly. I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm more on the Kim side than the Foxy side. Or well, I really fuck with this and not that. I really fuck with Nicki and not Cardi. I really fuck with Ram and not Nicki. It's like this weird nah, ass like him. back and forth. While if when you think about it. What Megan is doing is the same thing Trina's always done. Exactly. It's something about that Southern hospitality that I think. She you came know, in like, come on, we all about to drive this boat together. I love it. I love it. But no, the first thing I want you to kind of, you know, help me with is this Twitter check in. Now, Jermaine Dupri went viral just about two, three days ago because he was on some type of video digital platform with people magazine and they essentially asked him are there you know brad was the first um first female rapper to go platinum on her solo album is there a you know a female rapper out today that you you know enjoy listening to whatever 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 and this man came back saying that no they all are like just kind of like strippers rapping they all just talk mm -hmm. about the same thing no, it's nobody I can really say that's my favorite that I'm listening to right now. And that shit turned black Twitter into a whole, you know what I'm saying, whole frenzy. Like, I, I bet Jermaine was like, damn, like, I can't, y'all ain't, I ain't go viral on Welcome to Atlanta remix. Like, what the, like, y'all ain't, like, I had the, the, energy, man. the 20 years or so, so, y'all ain't, I ain't go viral then, like, I, this comment. but tell me what you think of the comment, because to me, I guess, when because I I, I I I caught it after the fact, and my girl had to break it down to me, and she gave him she she actually like gave him a little bit extra. And was like, if he's talking about like mainstream, then I kind of get what he's saying. But if he's just talking about he don't know nothing, then he just ain't heard enough. So, but let me know what you thought when you heard that. When I heard that, honestly, I just think everybody's entitled to their opinion. Let's start there. So he's entitled yeah. to that. If that's how he feels about every rapper in the game, then, hey, let that be. But we're not going to sit here and ignore all these great MCs that do actually, like, are lyrically 
amazing. You know what I'm saying? But for me yes. personally, I feel like it's balance. We need the strippers. We need the people talking about popping your pussy and, you know, scamming people. And, you know, we need those type of people in the rap industry as well. So you can't always have lyricists and you always can't have sexy and hot girls, you know? But I feel like, I personally feel like that's not the only thing that's in the rap industry right now. Yeah. And I feel like he... He should know better. He should have known better not to say that. He could have said, hey, he could have worded that. I think it's all about how you word your opinions. Mm -hmm. You could have been like, hey, I don't agree with what every rapper is currently talking about, but there are some dope artists or, you know, I'm just not seeing it right now. He could have just said that in a better way. You know, that's how I felt about it. But I'm into the business of mine and the business that pays me. So, hey, Jermaine, if that's what floats your boat, but... I know it's some great MCs who I'm currently listening to. Um, what is her name? I like Malibu Mitch a lot oh, yeah. right now. I like her too. I like her a lot right now. Megan, of course, she's lyrically um, amazing. She's so dope to me. But come on, Jermaine, you know, everybody on your radio station is not just talking about stripper related content, you know? I just, I think for me, it's, it definitely was a generalization. I think that's what kind of, you know, rubbed a lot of people the wrong way especially this year and I it's think- black women too right now. i think i get really irritated at that too like it's only black women right now if, if we're being honest it's really black women at the top in the mm-hmm. rap industry right now so True. come on jermaine as True. a black man you could have worded that differently or you could not just have said anything at all you know because you kind of bring in down your sisters what i feel like like you yeah. Because think about the platform about he was black. on. Yeah, you want to say support black people, support this. I'm all about my community, but you bringing down black women. I agree. And I just don't vibe with that. I agree. And it was very kind of, you know, I guess reactive. The way he kind of like came back, I think, a day later saying, you know, everybody's sending me emails and messages and everything. And you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Since I am a gatekeeper and this, that, and the third, I'm going to have this female cipher. More details coming soon. And I'm sitting here like, that was what I was, was saying. That, huh? yeah. Was that your tactic the whole time was what I was thinking. When I saw that, I'm like, was this your plan the whole time? Was I, this I a mean, PR stunt? It, 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 it worked if that was the case, but mm-hmm. it was just, it, it's... It's hard to make that into something that you can smooth out, though. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because in my opinion, in my opinion, me and me and Juwanza talked about this like it had to be almost two years ago before before Megan before Megan was like really hot shit. I think it was around that time, you know, Remy and Remy and uh, Nikki was kind of going back to back, and mm-hmm. we were just saying the things that a lot of people on the internet were saying was like Nikki had the opportunity to be able to literally snatch up every single you know, female rapper that was out there that people were ignoring, especially while she was at the height of her height, when it seemed like it was really nobody else making the same, like a, even a similar amount of noise as her when she first came into the game. So it was like, it was just like almost everybody was muted. It was like Nikki was the only one who could be on every album. If you need a female, you know, with bars on your, on your shit or just anybody, it was like, here it is, there it is, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Because even Trina was very, you know what I'm saying, muted. A lot in you know in half that time like she put out some she music was. but she definitely like she was talking about it even when she put out her late recent album like she didn't put out an album in a while mm-hmm. so and then you had remy in jail you had all these other women who just just didn't last they had maybe one or two hits in the early 2000s so it was like once nikki came she really took the fuck over and just was the only kind of female presence within rap so she really had the opportunity to be the one to kind of start this whole thing and just like with any other rapper out what do they do when they get they fucking when they pass that plateau of being a household name they get people under them they start they they start their tree they build their tree you should. you know As what i'm saying should. and you if you're if you're kendrick lamar you create you know you have top dog you have all these people under you. if you're j cole you have dreamville you have all these people under you and every single person has done that since before recent time you know what i'm saying like that's what you do when you are a rap individual and you are somebody who's established as fuck and doing great things but i think he you know i don't know why i don't know why he said something like that it made him seem very ignorant and especially him being an executive in it it makes it even it makes it even worse because he's on this white ass platform talking about these different things that should tell you how like important you know female females and within rap are right now for them to even ask you that question to loop that into you know the conversation obviously they thought it was going to give a little bit more of a substance 
you know, a very substantive answer from you other than like, I don't really know. They are yeah, kind of talking something about the same positive. Thing. Yeah. yeah, something positive, like, oh, who do we need to look out? Are you are you working with someone new? Kind of like, you know, the new, you know, possible new brat type of situation. I think they was really baiting him to go that way with it than the way that he took it. <laughs> and like, I really got shit for you. Demeanor was like, uh, like I just I was not feeling that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I get why I get why a lot of people, you know, are rubbing the wrong way, but I do wanna keep the conversation going and go to my section of this is going to be my kind of ask king listener feedback section and um from last week's episode cucumbers and bluebell which was a uh, <laughs> interesting title i wish it wasn't it didn't sound so obscene but what's <laughs> happening is so fucking obscene and i had a very great very great and interactive follower of mine who supports the show, supports me on the gram. She's a great individual. She does a million fucking different things. By the name of Jasmine, she's in Miami, Florida. She literally is a nurse. She's an esthetician. She's a mom. She's everything. You feel me? She out here. And she replied <laughs> She replied with a very lengthy uh, comment. And I will not read it all, but I will read the first part of this and say, first off, as a healthcare professional, I think this is a horrendous trend and is a major health hazard and a complete lack of morality. These repulsive, rancid waste of human beings are putting innocent lives at danger, possibly spreading a variety of diseases that we did not ask for, nor do we deserve. Mono, strep, hepatitis B and C, and something that I can't even pronounce. Herpes, meningitis, MRSA, and this is just a short list. Ooh. And I urge the public, if you see this shit, snitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I, sh I appreciate you, Jasmine, for commenting on that. <laughs> she And it's way more. Like, it's, it's a bunch of, she was getting her shit off. You feel me? Because I could get it. I get it. And I, and I personally hope I never see somebody live in, you know, in the grocery oh, I'm store. I'm snitch. I'm telling I on them. Out. I might curse you out in the process as well. Cause yeah. who raised you? Who raised you at that point? Yeah, people bring people buy ice cream for their babies. Like That's what the fuck? Stuff. I just don't get it. But moving on, cause we stand on the topic at hand. The topic <laughs> at hand is all about this hot girl summer. Now, really? so I've you know I've been told that like I guess hot girls and like city girls have been kind of made into almost be the same thing. Do you see it that way, or is there are they the same thing, or there's a distinction of the two? Nope, I see it as the same thing, and I know that young Miami from the city girls confirmed that um, it's the same thing. I mm. think it just depends on your mood, your vibe, which yes. song you listen to. Are you yes. listening to City Girl, How to Pimp a Nigga, or are you listening to Megan Thee Stallion, Ratchet, or Simon Says? You know, it's just all about your mood. But I think they're both one and the same thing, and that's really women's empowerment and doing whatever the hell you want. You know. I love that. I love that. And I'm here for it. I, I'm so here for it. And I think I have so many sisters around me who I just want them to, you know what I'm saying, always feel good to be the best selves they could be. And mm -hmm. that's why I support all of it and all around it and anything about it. But I, I genuinely, when, it first, when I first, you know, when she first came on the scene and, you know, she kind of had her whole rollout and had everything, it was like, okay, cool, cool. And then she kind of, you know, she just literally came with these euphemisms that have been just sucked up throughout the culture. Being hot girls, being hot girls summer, driving the boat, you know what I'm Hotties. saying? Hotties, you know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. Cause okay. you got you got women like Lily just, like she literally just be having parties with just, you know, women, which is something that was already present. Women already go to the club and have a real good ass time by they damn self. Really no men involved, just by they damn self. Just like the twerk video. With uh with the city girls and um and Cardi. Oh, I love like that. that was one of the first things everybody noticed. Like, there's it's no niggas in this. Like there's <laughs> nobody getting danced on. It's literally just a bunch of women on the beach and on a yacht shaking ass. It's and like weird. it's just so it's something about that just makes just warms my heart up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm cool being where I'm at seeing this happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't gotta be there. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm, look, yeah. look, that's that's cool because the thing about it is that I think, you know, I think men don't realize that we do have our own way of doing it in spaces. And I think we hope that we could do it in those spaces, too. But it's like certain times like 
these are like these real kind of man ass spaces where we have so much fucking fun that you know women just be cool that they could be there but they cool that they not and exactly. we need to see it we need to see it in that same type of way like this is just their shit you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like yeah they at the club shaking all types of ass i'm just like like let us have this like and trust me fellas i get it i've been out i've seen it i've been like it ain't no way she don't want nobody to like she don't want to <laughs> She don't want to dance with no, like, this is a we lot don't. happening. Like, I'm trying to not look, but it's almost like she literally turned around looking at me as if that's what she's looking at. Like, I'm like, oh, that's not, you just looking, you just looking past yeah. me. Got that's you. Aesthetic. Okay. That's just the aesthetic. You just trying, yeah. to, trying to make a good video. Got you. You know, and I, and we got to just let it go. You know what I'm saying? We got to just let to. it, we got to just let it go and just let them do their little thing over there. You know what I'm saying? Let them just twerk it out you feel me but i do believe that it's it's seen the people kind of integrate this into their conversation and into this their their moods and how they kind of are going about and moving around this summer reason why i wanted to come in and talk to a young lady like yourself <laughs> is because i do believe you embody this shit way before it even had a name Man. i've been telling you this since you know since we both connected like you you are this beautiful happy medium of just just energy and poise you know and I, I think, that. yes, because it's like, you need that. Like, because in, in the back of my mind, it's kind of like, this is what a well-rounded individual is. You, you're about your business, you do your shit, but you also, you know how to have fun. You know how to go out with your girls, you know how to go out with your guys, you know how to like, just be within the mix, be within the flow and like, just have a good ass time, like cooking eggs and twerking. Who does Man, that? That's lit. On. You Talk gotta do that, on. like, I'm Cause happy. Cause I don't think they know. They don't yeah, know. because you, cause it's yeah. like, I'm happy, I'm good, I'm in my crib, bills paid, I'm about to make some fucking breakfast before I start my day. Yeah. That's the that's the that's the vibe. That's the energy. It make me want to just get up and you know what I'm saying, turn some music on and go eat something. You feel me? <laughs> and that's what you need. That's the vibe. That's the energy that people need to be putting out because it's it keeps you going, and it also inspires the next person to be the exact same fucking way. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Like and embrace them true selves. Embrace their true selves and whatever that is. So when it came to this whole hot girl shit, it was like okay, cool. I'm with this. I support whatever this is, and I believe that women should you know definitely dive into this shit and i'm definitely gonna support any of my friends who's who claim that this is the type of summer they trying to have mm -hmm. you feel me because i do believe this is something you opt into something you like i'm doing this but you can't have acid either though that's the point right there though because i've been seeing also you seeing like people expressing they having these hot girl summers but you've been seeing a lot of folks like i don't know it's been hard I don't know. What about this? It's a it's a lukewarm summer for you, sis. <laughs> lukewarm summer. Lukewarm summer. We gonna have a hot girl while you over there chilling, okay? Taylor, I'm telling you, we right in the same place with this right now <laughs> because I don't think I sent you this, but literally I could send you a picture of my screen that literally says "lukewarm summer" featuring Taylor Crenshaw. We here we together. Are here. I'm tired of seeing it cause because seeing the same because thing. what was it maybe what a week or two ago it was some young lady who probably you know probably got a cool cool few thousand followers on Twitter who just tweeted out you know uh, coach uh, we tired like we don't know what to do like we feel like we lose or something like that Speak and this hot girls in this hot girl summer shit. and she was like y'all need to take a fucking shot and get out y'all feelings yeah. is what Megan the Stallion told these young ladies all over beyonce's internet and i believe that's the thing like this this my, the thing i've been telling so many of my female friends throughout eternity especially in college why the fuck are you not like living like you really are holding yourself back because of this nigga you talk to talk Man. to not even you don't even have a ring on your finger sis and you stress you stress pulling your hair out your edges are thinny then because it. you drained, drained, drained. You stand in the house crying, depressed. Crying. But I want to know what do you believe it is that's that you've seen and are you seen personally just throughout the years before this time that's made women seem to I guess create rules and prohibit themselves for kind of you know being this way because especially when there's this energy of like i want to be like that or i have the energy to be like this but i hold myself back because i feel like that exists well i mean it may not but you tell me no i definitely agree with you um i think it exists 
if I'm being honest, because the social media is mm. one part that plays in it. I feel like it's this facade that you have to be perfect all the time. You have to be well put together. You have to be corporate. You have to be professional every single second of the day. And Rodney, I'm just not with that. Like you mentioned earlier, I think I've been a hot girl since high school I was a hot girl before a hot girl was really a thing you know and I just didn't care what people thought about me I would twerk on top of a ceiling I would get on your bar I would pass out like I just didn't care and I feel like the society that we're living in everybody cares too much what the next person thinks about them yes and so you're enabling yourself to not have a hot girl summer because you're scared that's basically what it is it's fear it's fear of the judgment. It's the fear of how people will look at you, how maybe you'll look at yourself in the mirror. And you have to be comfortable to actually have a, to me, to have a hot girl summer, you truly have to be comfortable with yourself. You have to be confident. And you have to be a person that doesn't seek validation from anyone. You know? I agree. And to me, I think it's like so many different levels. And I think the fucked up part about it is there's certain societal expectations that I think from gender to gender we police each other with so it's like I, I remember tweeting like a few weeks ago about how like more men need to call, like men call out each other for a lot of shit but never the right shit you know what i'm saying and like Preach. we need to we need to stop this whole that that's that man business no. or like because it's so many that's that man business or you know that's beyond me that a lot of niggas is doing when it's like no this is when you need to say something yeah, this is when you need to speak yes, up man. because when it comes to like men doing what you feel like them not being men, when that's just like could be anything, because let it be a man, you know, just expressing himself in the way that he dresses or whatever it is. You got so much to say, like, bro, this is some moist ass. I don't know about whatever type of shit you doing, but like this, if you saying you trying to fuck on some chicks, I don't know if you want to come out like this. It's like that. But let you find out there's somebody that you literally know personally have his phone number literally going upside his girl's head you would be like man i don't know what they going on over no, there like, that's not I, don't cool. what's, I don't know what's happening and i feel like the same thing happens on the other side with women gladly enough it's not usually you know something as violent and problematic it's usually a sense of like shaming them for a choice within their lifestyle it's like mm -hmm. i can't be this way because i will be seen as this you don't know how many times people have called me and was like ronnie is this kind of hoish and I was like, you know what? How? How? Like, make, 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 make me know. Make me feel like this is hoish what you bringing to me. Are yeah. you? Are you like how? Like how are you thinking about this? Why? It's why do you feel some shame why. connected to your actions right now? Because like you did what you did with one individual, and now you're telling me about it. I would have never known if you wouldn't have told me. Mm -mm. This is something that you did that you decided to do that you were a responsible adult doing. Like, I'm trying to figure out where, where is this, like, negative connotation that you're trying to put on something because you imagine if if the world knew that this would be something that they would judge. But the thing about it is the world don't got to know. The world does not have to know. The world, nine times out of ten, they truly don't care. Well, nobody cares who you fucking. No. Nobody cares who you laying with. And my thing is the biggest part to me that I've been noticing is that so many women have been here saying, you know, I don't know if I'm having a good hot girl summer. I don't know, because I'm just having this this nigga ain't acting right. Can I have a nigga and have a hot girl summer? It's oh, like, yes. It's like, for me, I'm sitting here like, look, look. I get all this shit y'all trying to, like, tag on to the name of, you know, being just, you know, you know, ambitious as black women and all that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Most of y'all would like that already, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's really figure out what's there already and what's the new energy that needs to be implemented. Exactly. Let's talk about the, the topic at hand. We're not talking about your accomplishments, sis. We are proud of you. Mm -hmm. We know that you are on the right path. We yep. know that you're getting a degree. Mm -hmm. We know that you're doing all of that. But what are we talking about right now? Let's see you get ratchet. Let's see you twerk. Let's see you be your authentic self without tying an accomplishment to it. And I feel like a lot of people feel guilty for being themselves or like being the life of the party or being a hot girl. I feel like people feel guilty, right? I really do. I believe I that. I feel like even some girls who halfway do it are like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have a hot girl summer. You'll do something. Like you'll go twerk at brunch, but then you'll post something to be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm back at work. I'm back at the office. Because sis, don't explain yourself. Yeah. Do not explain yourself. You had a do good time. You 
you said what you said and you better mean it. Like, do not, I'm tired of explaining myself. And I think that's the point that I got. Cause I used to be like that as well. I'm human. So I used to care about like what people would think. Like I used to, cause you know, I twerk a lot on my Instagram. Um, <laughs> I twerk a lot in life. Y'all, if y'all don't know, I twerk a lot. That's my thing. But I used to feel guilty. And I feel like that's not hot girl shit, as Megan would say. You know, I feel like, yeah, at this point where I am in my life, like, I'm going to twerk Rodney and I'm not explaining nothing. I'm not posting where I work at afterwards. I'm not telling y'all the new place I bought. I'm not telling y'all nothing. Like, I twerk. I went to brunch. I got drunk. I got lit. And that's that. Yeah. You don't have to explain the multitudes and the, the variety of your personality to anyone. And I think... The thing about that is it's because it's you. It's what you choose to highlight and share, you know, in your life, and your world. You know what I'm saying? And even if you're a person who don't even be on social media at all, you don't even need to be like that within your own social spaces and things. You don't even need to use that language amongst your friends in these group chats to be like, girl, I was wild, and all, but I'm going to calm down. It's like, no. No. You've been doing so fucking great. You've had your you head down. It. You've been doing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? You can live. You it's summertime. It. You live wherever you live. Hopefully it's somewhere nice. And you just, and you, y'all got a great brunch special everywhere. Go get yours. Have that chicken and waffle baby and that mimosa on the side. Make sure y'all, oh, life hack, make sure y'all, if y'all get to the bottomless mimosas, you always get the uh, drink seven. Because they say if you drink seven, that's kind of like the median to get your money's worth. If you ain't drinking Ooh. seven, you, you ain't, you're wasting your money. So get to the seven. Ten. Yeah, so that, and that, that doesn't depend on however, if they making them shits weak or not. If you get seven, you got your money's worth. Whatever, wherever you at, whatever price is set. I assume y'all got y'all own judgment on that. But I digress. I think, you know, that's that's my whole thing. It's like I'm hearing, I'm seeing what these things are saying, being said. And then I'm also getting feedback from, you know, my homegirls who are talking about, you know, the summers they having thus far. And I'm just like, it is them, some definitely some feelings related to it. It definitely is like, is. you know, well, I kind of got a duel, but I don't know if I, whatever. And it's like the thing about it, the thing about it is. If you if you're with a man or you're right now kind of dating somebody or whatever you're doing, ladies, and he becomes uninterested because he sees you living your best life, and you just so happen to want to capture it for your own memories, but you like fuck it, I want to share it too, just so you know, put the vibe out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what the vibe is. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. I'm having a good time. You know what I'm saying? You do that. And now he's like, hey, look, I ain't know you was like this. I thought you was the type that was, you know, low key, stay in the crib. Like, you know. That's not the man for you. And that's because he wants, she doesn't want you to be you. Mm -mm. Like, I want y'all to really understand that. Like, if you are stepping to men and you're sitting here dating men who are literally slowly but surely trying to get you to tweak certain things about yourself, they don't want you. Controlling what you wear. Oh, why you wearing that? Why you doing no? Nah, we damn not you. You gonna really cut your all your hair off like that? Like all of it? Like yeah, that's all not the of man it? for you. You need to go. You know what I'm saying? You need to go. And this is why you embrace... don't need to. This is why you need to have hot girls. <laughs> yeah, they should embrace all sides of you. Hot girl, corporate girl, all sides. You know. All sides, all sides. But I think what I guess, in my opinion, is kind of like. The reason why I feel like they're, they're making this in, into something that feels like a, a a competition almost is, you know, because they say, you know, men always act like this, which I'm assuming that this is kind of like this very free flowing, just high energy. We, we, we planning to go out and get, you know, get lit wherever we at doing our thing, whatever, whatever we trying to, you know, whatever, whatever. Now, Lily broke it down to broke it down to our good friend Ty and Janice. Hey, saying, I said to her, I said to him, like, the difference that men have, reason why it seems like consistently they always have this similar behavior, do what the fuck they want, especially in the summertime, niggas are plotting. We plan. <laughs> M- men don't plan much. We're terrible at planning things. You know what I'm saying? We do not, when it comes to that, I've literally told that to so many men just as a little bit of advice, like, bro. Put money on it. Start planning shit. She gonna love you. <laughs> like, just put thought into something before Come to the, the table day, with something. Before the day, like, don't even just be like, "What you trying to do?" Hit her with the. Uh-uh. I already got something to do. We about Be-try. to do this. 
And I'm telling you, the whole vibe and energy of how she kind of approach and respond to you is going to change. Try it, it fellas. But men don't plan much. But what we do plan is what the fuck we probably doing that weekend, what we doing on a summer vacation over this summer situation, what we doing for such and such birthday, because we trying to be where? Wherever the high girl is at, wherever the women's is at. You feel me? We trying to figure out where they are so we can be where they at. And the thing about it is we are very good at it by this point like you are in your 20s you know how exactly how to do it you follow that joint that you probably been trying to get at but she like kind of out of your league but if you know wherever she at it's gonna be at least 10 11 um that look just like her so it's like oh she confirmed she oh she she on the getting ready on the story okay she dancing around with a girl okay so we definitely going she at the such and such club well, all right let's let's pop we out did. you know what i'm saying we already have we got the section on on, on you know on on the, on the standby, we know we Don't know the nigga. Do, you know we we, we 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 finding ways to maneuver. That's why we end up always having a successful time. You know what I'm saying? So because we got the backup, it's like if we go out and this shit don't work, we got a little. You know what I'm saying? Something at home. We got a little CNA who don't really go out that much. <laughs> Who I can pull up on. You know what I'm saying? Men are horrible. (laughs) Who who they can pull up on. So they having a good time because these men are single. They're just trying to see if they can meet some people while they're out. And if this don't work out, they can't make no connections. They can't make this thing go anywhere else. (sighs) Already got something right here that's good. You know what I'm saying? Good and ready to go. And it is what it is. It's right here. But what I do want men to start doing is we just got to... be a lot cleaner about the shit <laughs> and, not, and not be so <laughs> not manipulative yeah. not be so manipulative in trying to set these certain situations out because the thing about it is is what we're learning is that there are so many women who are feeling the exact same way they're not trying to be tied down right now but we're not trying to get at those specific women we're trying to make the women who we just want to be in a situation into those women who just want that type of level you know what i'm saying when there's so many women who are in situationships who want a real relationship who are just settling for a situationship but that's you know that's what that is but exactly. i would love to know from you like i guess what do you think what do you think it's like the i guess the biggest 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 reason for right now and for eternity for women's for women to truly express themselves. Like, what is the, necess- the necessity for women to get into expressing themselves? I think the number one thing is not caring what anybody thinks. That's men, women, your mom, your grandma, your daddy just don't care. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't have to be. I feel like people over-sexualize this whole hot girl movement or Mm -hmm. a woman wanting to be her authentic self. I feel like society, we over-sexualize it. And it doesn't have to be. Her trying to be her true self doesn't mean she has to have sex with 10 guys. And if she Mm -hmm. does, so what? Mm -hmm. That's still a hot girl because she shouldn't have to attach herself to emotions. Yes. And feel bad about doing what she wants. If she wants to go out to the club every single night, do it. But I feel like we, as women, we allow everyone else to control our lives. Mm -hmm. And we need to take that back. And that's what I feel like Megan came into the game um, on her platform, which I really appreciate. Because I know well before, my mama probably was a hot girl in her days. Like, I know it's women before Megan that were on this wave. But I thank her for getting on her platform and showing other women that, hey, you could do this. You can still be a CNA. You can still be a doctor or a lawyer work at a corporate, um, you know, big Fortune 5 company, Fortune 500 company, and you can still be a boss, you know what I'm saying? Like, and do whatever you want and however you want. And I just want us to get to the point where we just don't care. Because that's really, I think, the key is just don't care. Wake up and just be like, this is what I'm about to do. Yep. I'm about to go to brunch. I'm yep. about to have about 10 mimosas. Yep. And I'm going to call that man. And even if he don't answer, guess what? I'm about to walk up to this man at brunch, ask him for his number. Like, I just feel like we need to get more confident. Yes. And more sexy and more just like yes. about ourselves. Like, men do it. Like you mentioned, men do it all the time. Yes. Why can't we? Why do we have to wait for a man to approach us? Why do we have to wait for a man to text us back? Like, girl, go be a hot girl this summer. And stop worrying about what everybody else thinks about you. You said something so important. And that's and that's something that I genuinely never understood. And I tell I tell I tell so many women that it's like we have been stuck into these kind of roles 
for so long. Like, I get it. You men supposed to approach you, this, that, and the third, this, that, and blah. I was like, but you keep not finding who you want. The wrong <laughs> man keep coming to you. Exactly, because you're not going to them. And like, you need to like, and also to what I've been tell, what I tell women all the time when they tell me how they, like they just couldn't figure out why this certain guy or whoever wouldn't like just walk up and talk to him. I was like, nine times out of ten, you probably thought you didn't want to talk to him. Mm-hmm. And I think there's this very like you think that you're just loud and giving out. It's like I keep looking at him and he don't, you know, he. I'm just, I was like, but you got to do more than that for some people. <laughs> like yeah, you, you may know, have to, you may have to like literally just like it's gonna be some men who are just slow and just kind of like not paying attention. Not catching the hints. Yeah, not catching the hints, and that may tell you exactly what you need to know. It's like, oh, he's not that sharp. He, I might not need to go at him. He's just cute. But then you're gonna have individuals. But then you're gonna have individuals who are going to catch it if you really truly, it's not even about throwing it at them. It's not even being overt. It's yeah. literally like we're sitting here, we're in this coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? And Introduce we, yourself. And we just doing, we just minding our own business. He letting you mind. He, he probably looked up at you, you know, a few times. Like, oh, okay, look at the cute girl with a little, little MacBook or whatever, you know, little glasses. <laughs> and then you, you know, you bring your nice little matcha latte, whatever, over there to him. You know what I'm saying? And you say, it's somebody seeing or whatever, whatever. And trust me, if this man, like, you don't know, you, you just allow this thing to happen. Because I really believe, just like when it comes to women, a lot of women care about being judged and yeah. living up to the expectations of society or at least their immediate kind of, like, cultural uh, influence. They also, too. Women don't. Women ain't went through rejection enough. I was just gonna say that <laughs> they ain't been through it's, rejection enough yeah. to be brave enough to like. It's rejection. To know that like th this is all that can happen from a certain situation. And like, it's not a, the worst. Thing it's that's not. Happen. It's just a no. So do it. It's just so a. Do it. Like not right now. It's not a whatever, whatever. Because I tell. I, I remember I had like broke it down to somebody because it was like it was like it's so hard dating one over. I was like no honesty. It's hard. It, it, I was like, it is a lot of things, a lot of elements that make it hard. I was like, it's some women who you got to literally run up on them at the right day, the right hour. They got to be in a certain mood for you to even get like a moment to kind of like get through that. You feel me? Because exactly. they just not in the mood. They busy. They on the way somewhere. They trying to do something. It's like today is not the day. Regardless of how you look and what you come in with, it does not matter because that's just the, that's the energy. That's the expectation. But this yet again is a reason to me. I believe women need to make that time to live, make that time to really just let your fucking hair down, put your weave in and let that down. And then you have a good time. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Be fearless. Like, don't let your fears hold you back from having yeah. a good time. Because that's another, it goes to your question, your earlier question. Like, stop letting fear hold you back of you having a good time. Because Lord forbid, you could die tomorrow. Yes. And you haven't lived the life that you should have. Or like you said earlier, like you could be 40 years old looking back like, damn, I should have did this. I should've you know? That. I should have did that. And I just I just really want, because I, I, I hear too often so many women getting their emotions and feelings wrapped up in the midst of being in single status. And it's like, y'all y'all look at men and be so pissed at men. And the reason why I fuck boys, the reason why I fuck boys can exist it's because there's no, there's genuinely not an energy put back to, because it's like there's this belief that there must be this manipulation factor to happen because there's this expectation that women all want to just be in this kind of like real tight knit locked down type of relationships. So I got to, so as quote unquote a fuck boy, I have to figure out how to get the puss or the box. <laughs> In the way that where I don't have to commit too much of myself and my energy, and I give get that, and then the fucked up part about it is, y'all fall for it, y'all mm -hmm. giving it up to him, y'all planning birthday birthday gifts and Christmas <laughs> gifts, but this is not your nigga, and it's going nope. on two years that you've been doing this shit. Y'all been you've been planning to travel with this nigga, you done went out, you ain't got a you ain't it ain't a, a picture been seen nowhere. You don't even like, have a title, sis. No you title. Uh -uh. He done convinced you that t titles are uh, the the creation <laughs> of some white man. You yep, know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to get married because it's just a piece of paper. That shit, that shit just a piece of paper. And Girl. what? And like, we titles is for other people. When we out and about, that's what other people say yep, they need. He got need. his whole speech down to the T. It's ready to go for you. You know what I'm 
I'm saying? Letting you know, look, just keep getting this dick and like, just be cool. Like, it's good. And don't right? get on my nerves. Like, it's good. Know. You like it, right? You you remember that time I brought you that them wings and I, and I fucked you. That's some, uh, that, like that's what we do. Like that's just the level we on. We got our own thing. You know what I'm saying? So don't mm-hmm. complicate it. You know, mm-hmm. if there's a, a if there's a force and an energy that is like the most feminine, the most like. Best, best version of that because the thing about it, y'all got way more control over the box than anybody. We so, do. so it's like, and women need to know that, Rodney. I don't think enough women know like how powerful you truly are. Yes, and especially in the dating game, like <sighs> that nigga it's, can't come over if you don't let him. You cannot. He cannot keep staying in your life if you don't allow him. If you like, he can't even him text out. you. He can't even you text you if you don't let him. So it's like. I always tell I always tell women like I always tell so many women when they going through a whole bunch with just dudes they dating or in the dating world it's like there's a point where you cross into this stop being his fault to now you're helping him hurt you. Yep. To where it's you like it on the head. you 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 keeping you keeping this thing going like you had to you always have an out but now now you're still in this now you're creating more now you're making plans now you're setting up things. Now you're adding investments on a person who you may not get the investment back from. And now it's like, he can just, that's why you have so many women who have dudes who pop up with girlfriends, pop up with babies. No, who? That baby one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because what was he doing? He was being what? Single. Yes. Single. While you were settling, sis, and not having a hot girl summer at the end of the day. That's, you know what I'm saying? And it's a whole lot of dudes out here. It's a whole lot of grown, old-ass men who was out here fucking off on Felicia and them, and now you look at him, he got a nice, cute little picture with Carol, and you're like, hold on, he was with Felicia. Yeah, but they went in a real thing, and Carol not got knocked up, and so he, you know, he, he did the thing. He got married, you know, stepped up to the plate on some Maury shit and did the Mature. thing. And here it is. Now he washed, beer belly. <laughs> He ain't going out. He be reminiscing about when he was with Carol, when he was with Felicia, doing his thing out here, you know? And I think that's what women need to understand. It's like, this is what men are literally perpetu- like perpetuating amongst each other. And like old heads are telling us to live this way. Yeah. Telling us to live this way. So it's like a system that's kind of feeding itself. While you have like... They're, like our generation is the one that really has to make the shift and the change because you look up to our elders and there's a lot of elders who is like, girl, calm down. Don't be giving that thing to nobody. Don't be, you know. <laughs> Spraying it around the city. I, I seen it on Facebook. I didn't know how it got on Facebook, but your whole booty was out, girl. Let me talk to you. Come on. let me. Talk. I don't know what's going on with this Facebook nowadays. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to put your face on there, not your booty. <laughs> That's not the energy you need right now. You need because that's it's contextual. If she's not going to stand, it's not for grandma. Tell her that you know, you just don't. You might need to stop friending your your family. My, uh, my granny, we might have to block it. We might have to block them. You feel me? But I I want you to end this with giving the ladies a little bit of advice on living their best life. How you how you have in moments felt like you were, a, I guess, a, a diminished, I guess, a kind of a, a suppressed version of yourself and how you blossom into what you are now, being Tay Crenshaw, who's giving you giving you some, some twerk and scramble, you feel me? <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying, just letting it be known, like, I'm going out, hey, look what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I might give you every now and again, like, oh, I'm traveling, y'all, hey, y'all. And I might give y'all, oh, look, look at this little cool thing I did at work. Right. Whenever you want to. Whenever you feel like it, you know what I'm saying? You be doing so you be doing social media breaks, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. Very balanced individual that you come off as. And so I would love for you to just impart anything that you want to say to the ladies who want to kind of, you know, figure out a way to balance things out in their life. Um, I feel like I heard something today. Ladies, if it's not financing you, if it's not enhancing you or mm. romancing you. Mm. Right Please 
do not be bothered by it and live your best life. That's all I can say, because honestly, once you start truly walking in your path and not the path that people want you to go down, I sort of got your, your blossom. And it's such a beautiful thing, Rodney. Like you asked, when was a time where I felt like suppressed? And honestly, I go back and forth with it. Uh, not so much now, but previously, I would say closer to when I first graduated. Mm -hmm. I just felt like I had to be this completely different person because if I was the vibrant life of the party type, I wouldn't get a job mm. or I wouldn't be successful or people wouldn't like me. They'll call me ratchet. Like until I got to the point like this is who I am and this is why everybody loves me. Maybe not everybody because I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. But I'm somebody shot of Hennessy. You feel me? And that's just on that. Okay. I love that quote. Oh, I love that. That <laughs> is so, that is sounds so good. Once I realized that, Rodney, like, oh, I got to this company with this personality. Oh, I got to these places. Oh, I'm traveling to these places and I'm still my authentic self. Why would I ever want to be anything less than that? Why? Yes. Why would I suppress who I am just to impress social media or just to impress people in a venue, you know? So now that I'm at a place where I'm like, I just don't give a damn. I'm not explaining myself. Word. I'm not dimming my light to make you feel comfortable. Never. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing it because it's a waste of life. Like I said, we could die tomorrow. I could be taking my last breath today. I am going to live it like it's the fullest. So if that means I'm going to twerk on somebody's table with a red cup in my hand, if that means I'm going to post a twerking video, if that means I'm going to go on 50 million dates, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get caught up, but, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> but that's just what I'm going to do because I don't care what people, people who are not, paying my bills like if you're not paying my bills I just you know you're not you're not contributing to my income so I can't care about what your opinion is about me and that's what I feel like a true hot girl is mm. I'm not seeking validation from anybody else you know and I just want us to stop turning this hot girl summer into something that it's not it's not about your accomplishments it's not about what you've done it's not about what house you bought that all of that is beautiful. Yes. And you know I support it. I love women's yes. empowerment. Yes. Do all that. Where's your personality? Where's the fun? Where are you Ooh. living your life? Where are you planning a girls trip to? What club are y'all going to? What yes. art museum are y'all going to? Because I think some people think also Rodney that a hot girl summer is just twerking and having sex with men. Yes. And that's not true. Some we got hot girls that are mothers. That could be you dropping your kids off to grandma's house for the weekend so you could go to brunch. That could be meaning, yes. I don't know, a lawyer that works X amount of hours at work during the week. You could just be taking a break and you and your girls go to paint and sip, but it could be a twist. It could be one of the new ones. You know, you got penises flying yeah. everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> that could be your version of a hot girl summer. So yeah. whatever that is to you. I support it, and I just really want everybody to embrace it because I've been living this hot girl life for a long time, mm. and it keeps me very happy, right? Like I said, mm -hmm. since high Skin school. Be good and everything. Yes, it keeps me happy. It brings me joy to know that, a uh, prime example in college, uh, we were doing homecoming. A lot of y'all may remember I got on stage, Rodney. I said, fuck it. You yes. know what I'm saying? One of the artists was well, like, young, come yeah, up. You yes. Know? And while everybody was down there judging, like, oh, those girls up there look like this and they look like that, I had the time of my life and mm -hmm. I met a great friend that day. You know what I'm saying? That was probably your favorite artist. So I'm just go for it. Don't let fear hold you back and mm -hmm. don't give a damn what people think about you, you mm -hmm. know? Because that doesn't take away from your character. I think people will think it'll take away from your character and who you are because you do certain things or you want to have fun. No, you just have a personality. Yes. You just have this energy that I think should be shared with the world. Don't hold that back for no reason. Because I used to feel bad, Rodney, like, ooh, people going to look at me like I'm a hoe if it I go matter. twerk somewhere. It like, don't matter. It don't matter. Y'all have seen your grandma shake some ass. Like, don't be judging me. It don't matter. And and what I, what I want everybody to understand and what I want everybody to judge, and I want all men and women to hear this, is that we spend so much time minding the business of everyone the business us. that does not pay you and it, and it, and it does and it does nothing to like 
if anything, we and we tr it's so many people who attempt and try to dissect the business of other individuals to pump up whether wherever their business is. You know what I'm saying? Wherever mm -hmm. they at in life, it's like, oh, well, like, damn, I ain't doing that. They fucked around, whatever. It don't matter. Yeah. And it's kind of like there's so much external kind of uh, attention that we give to the things that happen externally that we miss out on the things that we need to work on in a, inside into ourselves because you have so many, you know, people who. Because the beautiful thing about this, what we're talking about, is that we're talking about women who are handling their shit and making time to then release and and just have a good fucking time. You see because what I'm you saying? deserve because it. Because you, you deserve, deserve it. it. But how many? But how many individuals are out here not doing what they should be doing, but still making making sure they <laughs> having the energy to fake making sure they out wherever they out. At. And there's a lot of men that I know who are like that. You see what I'm yep. saying? So this is why I'm saying this. It's like, we got to be about our shits. We got to be about our business. Because if we're doing all these external things, you know, we're doing this, we're doing that, but we're going to make sure, like, hey, look, y'all ain't going to not know that I'm, like, not doing good. I'm going to still pop out at the club or whatever. Ooh. And um, you're going to see that I'm doing something, even though I'm kind of dying inside. I'm gonna still look like I'm out here with the section and with the homies, but nigga, exactly get you, get you and your shit together though. Get you and your shit together. Before you have a city boy summer, you need to get it together. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Let's follow the lead of the hot girls. You know what I'm saying? And like do the same. You know, do the shit. Just clean this shit up. Clean up the ways. There's, there's an infrastructure there that just need to be. You know. Put some construction signs down and let's fix some of this shit. You feel me? Yeah, and that way we can answer. have us a good ass time amongst the the whole plethora of people. And just people, enjoy each other. Like just don't enjoying have to each other. We don't have to judge each other. Just enjoy everything. Like ain't it ain't a good ass brunch time when you just pull up to the brunch spot, whichever brunch spot you at, and okay. you with your crew and you all y'all all like cool and it's whatever, but then for some reason it's a table not too far away from y'all that kind of got a similar energy to y'all. And you like, <laughs> and y'all just looking at each other and you know, like, do we need to like party together? Come together? Like, I'm let's, for that. I, like, will, I will walk over to you and twerk with you. Like, we got that. bottles over here. Y'all got bottles too? Oh, y'all <laughs> with us. Like, let's go ahead and get this all around. We got different shit. We got different, yeah, we got different gotta flavors up. happening. We have to switch up the narrative because that's a lot of the reasons. I feel like I've turned into a loop girl sometimes because mm -hmm. I'm such a granny, but it's due to the fact that Rodney, I feel like when we go out, it's not that energy like you just mentioned. Yeah. You know, because I'm so used to turning up, being the life of the party. Like, I don't want to go somewhere where I feel like y'all, all y'all do is sit and judge. So I feel yep. like we need to get back to having a good time. Put your phone down. Stop judging people. We all could be city girls, city boys. I don't care if you're in a relationship. Yes. I don't care if you're pregnant. Yes. I don't care if you're working on a second or third degree. Like, Let's come together and just have a good time without worrying about each other's business. Because I don't care, quite frankly, what y'all have going on. I'm just here to have a good time. And I'm here to live like today is my last day. Yes. On this earth. Yes. And, and fellas, another tidbit. Keep the shit in the moment. It's cool, mm -hmm. bro. She, if this is genuine, she all about you right now with these mimosas in this spot. <laughs> but she do not give you that number. And when yeah. you ask, she still ain't trying to get it at you. That was just the moment, bro. Just or enjoy that shit. It. She that don't mean she wanna have sex with you. She yes. just likes to shake her ass yes. and enjoy the music. Just just keep it in the moment. Chunk that shit up to the game. Enjoy what all the, the experience was and keep the shit pushing. It's cool. Don't don't trip. Definitely don't get violent. Definitely don't get in your feelings about nah. it. Just understand that, oh, she was just she was having a good time. I'm, I'm not a bad looking it. motherfucker. So she just was trying to have bring that some of that good time over here. Appreciate you. You know, see you around. Keep it next pushing. Brunch. Keep that's, it that pushing. is what it is. Cause I, for me, when I used to go out, that's exact. I, I personally never like meeting people in the club, so that was already my energy. You know okay. What I'm see, you're rare. You are very rare. I, 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 I if I'm a dance, you, cause I, it was so many moments, niggas I was with was like, nigga, did you get her number? I was like, no. no. He was like, nigga, she was dancing with you for like four songs. I was like, she was really feeling it. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> she was, small. Y'all see each other again. Was, like, she was really feeling it. I was just trying to get by, and she just stuck a <laughs> nigga <there. laughs> Keep it real with you. I think I just, I was just trying to get by, but that 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 song came on, and she was like, nigga. And she red, no, she red nosed her ass all right here to my pelvis, and I ain't know what to do. Because I was mo trying to move out the way. But I, I just believe, you know. It's out here. It's out there. We need it's the so energy. Many the blue the blueprint is is laid. Get after it. 
You know what I'm saying? Get after it for you. Don't get after it for social media. Get after it for you. You. Had his hot girl summer. Had his hot girl shit. Do the damn thing. But I think this is a good time to wrap it up. I appreciate you, Taylor, for coming on and, you know what I'm saying, giving some words to all the ladies and all the fellas out here who need to hear these good words about this hot girl summer because summer's not over. This oh, is more no, like it's just getting started. it's like mid, you know what I'm saying? It's July. Listen, you know it's what I'm just saying? getting started because you know homecoming is coming up too. So that's the hot girl fall. Hot <laughs> girl fall. Okay, it's, it's going down. <laughs> then we got the winter with the new year. So come on, y'all, oh, gotta keep this going. You keep the energy going. You keep the energy flowing. You know what I'm saying? And like. You can you can do all the things you like to do all damn year. There's not a moment that you should wait. Don't wait. Don't and put it off. Y'all stop making excuses. Yeah, stop making excuses. Stop making we, excuses. Can, we we can be in relationships, y'all. We can do all this. We can still have a good time. Stop making excuses as to why you can't be your true self. Be you. Just be you. That's it. Be the best you. You know what I'm saying? But tell everybody if you want anybody to kind of keep up with anything you're doing or follow you in any type of way. Let them know how they can do that. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at Tay Crenshaw, like the street in LA. And also, too, since we're talking about Hot Girl, um, I'm a playlist curator. Yes, so follow me on Apple. Yes, so follow me on Apple Music at Tay Crenshaw as well. And I also have a Hot Girl playlist up right now that a lot of people are bumping for the summer. So please okay, okay. Okay, subscribe. Make sure you guys send me that link. Send me that link. Of course. And Rodney, I just want to thank you as always. You, oh, know, yes. you are my favorite podcast. Thank you. It's always good vibes. It's always good content. And I'm just so proud of you. I, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I really do. This is my baby. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to get yes. big on me. Um, She's amazing. Are you coming for homecoming too? This this year? That's still Come a on. Uh-uh, that's still, that's still up got, in the air. We gotta join the hot boys and the hot girls. <laughs> I know because, you're in a relationship too, but come on. Because come on. I think I actually am going to be in the Bay around that time. Aww. So, yeah, so that's the thing. But I'm definitely going to be there next year because it's going to be five years after school. So I'm no definitely going to be there then. So you can bet on that. But, All right. But I can't hold you to this one. But um, I appreciate you. I really do. And um, and I hope anybody, I hope everybody listening truly sinks in replay this if you need to send this to the homies you know what i'm saying if you don't know now you know you can listen to this uh everywhere podcasts are available from sound actually i keep saying soundcloud i took it off soundcloud actually because soundcloud had too many issues but apple podcast google play spotify iHeartRadio radio app you can get it a lot of other places where i know you listen to your things at you feel me um Make sure you um you hit me up. Make sure you want to ask King anything and contribute to this conversation. You can hashtag the Simply King Podcast, or you can just shoot me a DM, shoot me an email at lifeisking1 at gmail.com. Come on to the website, lifeisking.com, to do anything that you want to do, see any other things that might be going on from blogs to any other types of content, past content or collaborations that I've had done in the past so appreciate y'all appreciate y'all this is the soulfully conscious podcast from humans simply being humans i'm rodney perry also known as king and this is simply king peace so nobody saw nobody cook like me huh. Get what you need like me huh. Ain't nobody got a funny tip, tip, toes And roll to the tip like me huh. I got him addicted, he fiending My body a drug and he need it He begging me for the treatment He throwing fit when I leave him He like, baby, let me rub, let me rub on you Like a little, little, little love from you My body addictive, it's driving him crazy I think I gotta run from you Don't know what to do without it He fucking with you, I doubt it They don't understand that I'm all in his head And there's nothing to do with my body too You've been fiending for me lately Going brazy, crazy. I got what you need. I'm gon' give it to you, baby. Going brazy, crazy. Feeling for me.